What's going on? It is Liv broadcasting live from Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. I'm backstage right now, joined by Ben and Jason of Breaking Benjamin. What's going on, guys? Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here and taking the time. So before we get into business, I want to talk a little bit of fun. Because actually, I interviewed you guys last year, and then I kicked myself this entire year because it was just as you were walking away, Ben, that I noticed you have a Boba Fett tattoo. Yeah, I do. And I I must... (laughs) <laughs> I was like, why did I not you talk to Star Wars? So I, that. You actually inspired me to oh, wear wear my shirt and my, my Mando ring. So, like, is that indicating that you're a big Star Wars fan? Or uh, just maybe. Love? It's oh just my, God, my whole keeps, arm. It's a whole sleeve. Oh, my God. I only I saw Boba. Up and I was yeah. like, what the? Oh, my God. Okay, so then I got to know. <laughs> I got to know, like, uh, what do you think of, like, this Dave Filoni era we're in? I think it's great. You're into it? Of course. Okay. Uh we could be here all day talking, <laughs> talking about various Clip iterations notes. of Star Wars. <laughs> but Are I, you uh, in or out of Ahsoka? No, I, I'm in. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm good. in the analytical phase of it where I'm watching okay. it over and over trying to pick up every little piece and Okay. Stuff. Now, did you go into the animated? Did you watch Rebels? Well, now I'm going to go back because I never really got too into Rebels <gasps> or Clone Wars only because the um, I did watch them, but it's hard. I'm not really a fan of that type of animation. I get it. I get it. And I, the, the stories are great and everything like that. The dialogue, all of it's great. Mm-hmm. It's just the way it's represented isn't. I'm not really into that I type of animation. I like animation, but not the pixar type stuff. Yeah. Yeah, totally get that. There's good story there. You got to catch up. Yeah, it's catch worth up. it to sit through for the story. It's 100%. just a matter of, of it's just a matter of opening the door. I get it. <laughs> but now that Ahsoka's out, I fi- I'll probably be more inclined to go back and and. But I know enough to follow along. Well, that's with good. It. That's good because yeah. Filoni's basically said Ahsoka is season five of Rebels, yeah. and it's building that up. So yeah, well. Uh, excuse me, sorry. It's uh, Mountain Dew. If you <laughs> don't drink when you, you hit you that dump button right there. If you don't burp, well, is that a fine? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't burp when you drink soda, I want to know where it, where is it? It's got to come the out. Other where does it go? No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Now that we've gotten Star Wars out of the way, right. like we could just nerd out. I know Zane, we got Zane on the camera for this going oh. up on YouTube later. He's a big Star Wars guy, too. So uh, you're in good company here. Awesome. So I know you guys have been out on tour for the last six-ish weeks, more than that yeah. at this point. Something like that. Wrapping yeah. up soon. I know last I've read, you guys have recorded a lot of music at this point, but no album announcement yet. And I'm curious about that process where you just record a crap ton of songs. How do you funnel that down into an album? Man, I guess it would go. You did a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it goes back to, uh, you know, one of us can come up with something and put down an idea, or we can, a couple of us can work on an idea together. But then it, how does it resonate with everybody? You know, how close is it to getting finished? Mm. I resonate. I think he means, does it suck? Yes. Does everyone <laughs> like it? Right. It's a, a diplomatic way of saying, right. let's make is sure everybody likes it. Is that difficult to do with, you know, you got a handful of people to please? Well, the great uh, thing about this band, I've been saying it for a long time about the 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 lineup that it is now is that i think it's more important to think it's more important than liking the same things it's more important to think that the same things suck (laughs) yeah like that. uh, clear defined boundaries like that's probably something we'll never do let's just they can like bands and things like that that i don't like but as long as with our music we we both agree on what's bad then mm-hmm. that's good for me you know because there's no art <laughs> right. because usually that's where you run into problems where somebody thinks something's yep. good and it's not exactly yeah and so it's you more- lose trust in that person's opinion you're like, right <laughs> for <laughs> you, thought, you thought that was good how am i supposed to trust you? right yeah. that's a good point yeah. yeah it's more about the band's sound over personal preference that makes a lot of sense yeah and it's kind of like a thing of like we don't understand why you don't think that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's been five years since Ember came out. And I know you've had other albums previously that you've gone like two years in between. So yeah. do you find that as time goes on that it's more difficult than having that momentum of like every other year or so? I don't think so. No, I, I think that, well, COVID got to cut those yeah. years out. Sure. Yeah, that's true. No, it's not really they, they inspiring. Don't count. Yeah. <laughs> But so then, it, then it would be about three years. Yeah. And I wouldn't say that things like become less inspiring or whatever. It's just the thing of like 
there was a flow before that kind of got interrupted. Mm. That's a good way of putting it, which I think is kind of a, a, a good thing and because we've been able to sit back from songs that are two years old at this point and go, man, I really do like that. Or, yeah, yeah that, give that me just, time to sit with it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> which you don't really a few years to sit, sit with it. it. Yeah. And it's so you don't what really we need is a few that. years. <laughs> we needed that. I wrote a song today. I'll let you know how it goes in two, two years. years. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's really interesting to hear that you have these songs that are years old at this point, and you're still like, yeah, I'm yeah. into that. That still they're, works. Just for the record, they're not all that old. We just have some <laughs> ideas. <laughs> just some, yeah, just some. Yeah. 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 Now, do you ever find that, like, say, you have a song, say, today, and it doesn't make the cut for this album, but say, do you, like, use stuff from years ago on another this, album? This happened. We did that with Torn in Two. Yep. We have a song called Torn in Two, and that was written in the writing time of uh the album before that oh, it wow. didn't go on that album so it went on ember yep so that okay. happens yeah yeah, yeah. as long whole... as it's a good song that's the thing like, <laughs> i think it was just missing like some little things and then once we found those little things it, it was good to go yep so it doesn't Absolutely. there's no time on when you find those little things you know they they happen when they happen yep. that's kind of what's going on now with it, with we, writing, is that we don't force ourselves to write. It just comes, and then we work with it as it comes. So that's what we're doing. 100% that's what we're doing. And I think <laughs> that after this album comes out, and there's and hopefully there's some, you know, uh, interest and stuff in it. Yeah. Uh, after that probably would be like two years, you know, then it would get back on track. Sure. We just need that one album to come out to put mm -hmm. us back on track to break the, uh, the lull. Overcome COVID. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're still dealing with uh, so we're still dealing with COVID issues. It's, yeah. oh, that's true. I, yeah. That's the c word. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't jinx it. <laughs> I say just throw it out there and expose. Don't let it. Don't fear it. Yeah. You no. Know? <laughs> don't fear the reaper or COVID. You don't COVID. own me, COVID. You don't that's own right. me. <laughs> get, get behind me, COVID. You yeah. know what? If I were to get COVID to say I got it from Breaking Benjamin, I think that would kind of be an honor. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I'm glad we can that's, share our diseases really sweet. together. And it's, that's really sweet. <laughs> well, that's something we can We've always share. We've, We've made, made it. it. People want our disease. That's right. <laughs> you guys, Humble. thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait for the new music, whenever that may be. And uh, again, enjoy some more Soka and get into the into okay. the animated a little bit. I have bit. to go and check and see when it airs, what the day is that the new episodes come it's tonight. out. tonight. Is it tonight? It's tonight. Every Tuesday night. Yes. Get, get off stage and go power up Disney I'm Plus. Go check it now because maybe they did it at mid. Sometimes they, if it's Tuesday that it comes on, then they'll do it Monday at mo midnight on Monday. Maybe I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I was thinking they were dropping it in the evening, but I'm so you glad let me that know. We did this interview today? <laughs> As a case show, we're the ones learning here. I'm so happy now. I know. I love this. You guys, thank you so much. And if you're listening on the radio right now, there's still time to get over here to Hollywood Casino Amphitheater to see Breaking Benjamin, to see Disturbed. It's a Point Big summer show. You guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much for having us.